This is not a question of what one believes in. This isn't about the divide on masks or no masks. I respect e either view. But simply, in life, you need a job to survive. That's right. Yeah. right. And anyone that cannot see that, I challenge you to take a pay cut and go without the basic necessities. And not until you've experienced that, do you have the right to judge the next. Yeah. Yeah. Those killed by the sword are better off than those who died of famine. Racked with hunger, they waste away for lack of food from the field. I will not give up. I will always continue to try my hardest. I will always have love and compassion in my heart, even for the ones that may disagree with me. I will not paint all politicians or enforcement with the same brush. Keeping in mind, everyone is walking their own path with a different pair of shoes. When you support a small business, it's not just about myself making a buck. It's about earning a fair living for the hard work put in to provide food and a roof for my children. It's about my hardworking staff, whom are my backbone, who work hard to earn a paycheck to also provide for their families. It's for the produce stand up the road in which we buy our veggies from. It's for that local farmer where we purchase our meats from. It's for all the different trades that come in to maintain and fix things to earn their living. It's for the customers that have a place to go without fear of judgment to create lasting memories and have great food. This is for all of you, and without each and every one of you, it wouldn't be worth it. It's much more than just supporting a small business. This is a pandemic for the privileged. The ones who st say, stay home, stay safe. They had loving husbands and a happy home life. They never knew of child abuse or neglect. And that school is the safest place for so many kids. They didn't have mental health issues, or a child who struggled with, de with depression or anxiety, or may have already attempted suicide. They shame those who try to catch a break from alcoholism and addiction and raging outbursts at home. It didn't occur to those who made the laws and those who cheered them on that there was a single mom who was just laid off because her job to feed her family was to them not essential. You can't challenge or shut down the billionaires. It's why the airplanes are full and the churches are empty. Okay. Children are made feel and called grandma killers while they've hung themselves in their closets and slit their wrists by the boatloads. But that spike wasn't in the news somehow, wherever right. the media is to actually cover something's yeah. wrong. The elderly have been in prison, stuck inside their old age home for over a year and hadn't felt fresh air as much as they begged for the sun on their skin. They're dying of loneliness. No, we are not all in this together. Only the privileged can say that.